Oh, down to 63%. Skittles is still there, look. Yes. Anyway, I'm not quite sure if this is pure coincidence or whatever, but I've just fixed my wire over the side, I've done a video about it. And I thought I'm going to do some other bits and pieces while I'm here, go away fly. And I noticed that my chain, I don't know if you can see that, in some places it's starting to go rusty and I thought that train chain looks a bit dry, especially as I have a chain oiler. Chain oiler. So I did some digging around, as I do, and this is a perfect example of what I said in my last video as a dry joint. So the person that's put these in, basically they've taken the power here from the rear lights, the side lights, fed it into the fuse. Now for some bizarre reason, and I mean bizarre reason, they have decided to solder the wire like that. So close to this, the actual plug itself it is really close to the plug. Unbelievably close to the plug. I can't believe how close that actually is. We have an issue. Now what I was discovering was on here, you see there's a red light here, which wasn't coming on. So I decided to do some fault finding. So obviously, if you remember rightly, the first thing I said was in uh, my wiring diagram video, it's always an earthing problem. So I always check the earth first, and the earth is fine on this, it's perfectly fine. And the way we can check the earth is if we get our multimeter, we'll stick our multimeter there, we'll stick it onto volts, and we'll get our positive end and we'll stick it on our battery we'll find our battery and then once that's on our battery we then get the negative end like so and you put it on your earth like so and look we've got 12 volts i don't know you can see that on there so we've got over 12 volts so we know the earth's fine there's nothing wrong with the earth so we're all out the earth okay so the next step is to actually work out whether or not there's power going through. So it's just a case of actually just turning the ignition on, earth, uh, connecting one end to the earth, the other end, and we have power. Now what I was finding was I was getting power here, at this end, so I was getting power here, and it was going through to here, but then it wasn't going through to here. It wasn't going through to this end of the plug. And I was thinking, ah, okay. That's interesting. So how do we check to find out if there is a connection between there and this end? Bear in mind it's soldered there. Well, on a multimeter, we have this device here, which actually checks for continuity. And if we switch it over to the little switch, oh, these cables are bloody horrendous. They really are all over the joint, all over the joint. Let's see if I can pop you in there. I'll stick you there. What happens is, I don't know if you can hear this, you ready? Can you hear that? So that basically tells me that there is, it's basically passing the current through and making a noise. So if I connect one end here, you watch this bloody work now. We'll connect that there and there. We hear a beeping, which means there's power going through because there's a battery inside here, which allows the buzzer to go off, like so. But if I connect the wire here, I connect one here and one here <gasps> we have nothing and if you can see we have a figure on there which means there's resistance and this is classified as a dry joint there is absolutely no connection between here and from this solder in point to this wire here there's nothing so this would explain why my chain oiler has not been working very well at all. Now, because that is so close to there, my only option I have is to take this off here and, uh, where's my plug? And literally solder the plug. So literally take the plug off and solder the plug together, which we can do because this can come off easily. It doesn't have to be connected through. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how to actually connect two wires together like so properly. Now, 
that's positive, that's negative. But if you notice on here, that's black, and that's black. So we need to work out which is which. That's very bad, that's not how you do it. I'm gonna show you how to do it properly. So the first thing I actually have to do is, in fact, I lie because I pick up the wrong plug. It is this one, this one. So these two we need to solve together. Right, so what we need to do is, first off, clear some space, and I have to go and plug in my, uh, oh no, it is that one, it is this one, it is this one, right, I have to go and plug in my soldering iron, so I'm going to plug this in first, and I'm going to keep this plugged in, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the positive onto this side, because that's obviously positive, so I've separated the wires like so, and what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to cut them, and cut them I'm going to cut one and join cut one and join so that way then I know which wire is going to which and I'm not going to get confused so let me get my soldering iron and my wire soldering iron's warming up and obviously my good old heat shrinks so I'm going to do this slightly different in respect of so I'm going to take this bit off first with my fancy wire cutters Oh, by the way, before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think to my wonderful skill. Right, I love these because they uh, oh, didn't right, I love these because they won't let you strip the wire uh, any further than what you want to. And there's actually a gauge here, so I can wind it in, I can wind that out. So if I wanted to, I can have more wire stripped. So basically, you butt your strip up, strip wire, you put your wire up like so, and then you just press, and it strips your wire. Ta da! Look at that. Nicely stripped wire. And of course, this is causing problems because it's part of a fuse, and I need that end as well. I think I might take some more off. So basically, I need to take a bit more wire off, so I'm just going to push that forward like so, like that, which means then I can push this in a bit further and take some more wire off. I'll put you down there so I don't lose you. Drive me insane. What we don't want to do is take too much wire off. There we go, that looks like that looks like enough to me. And then I'm gonna twizzle that end like so, put you there, so we're out of the way. Right, so I'll get my plug again. I know that's the positive, that's the positive. So it's this side I need to take off. So rather than cut it right here at the plug, what you really need to be doing is cutting it, say, somewhere down here. Like so. And then we're gonna strip it. They have exactly the same amount of insulation, so it's taking the insulation off, like we've done the other one. Now, as we did, I'm gonna put that over there, look at that. On the previous video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to stick, my heat shrink on first, and that is, Perfect, in fact, actually, that looks perfect to me. And then what I need to do is put my little bit through there, because otherwise I won't get it on afterwards. And then I'm gonna join these two wires, and I'm gonna join these two wires slightly different to the way I did down the bottom here. But before I go any further, what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to take a larger heat shrink, and I'm gonna put the larger heat shrink over the top. And what I need to remember is, pass that wire through the larger heat shrink as you will see very shortly okay so my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join more wires and I'm going to twist them around like so so there, there we go so I've joined my wires like so so it's a nice straight line and hopefully this time we'll have a nice decent join there, rest that on there, he says, 
grabbing my solder and I'm just going to feed some solder in. Talk amongst yourself while I'm doing this. Just feed some solder in, need to get it so it melts. There we go. And what you'll see is this here it'll run in, there we go, into the wire. There we are. Oh no the wire came up. Hard. And there we have. You gotta be careful with that, you don't, you gotta be careful you don't do that. So there we have a joint. I'm going to move the iron out of the way a second so I don't burn myself. And obviously the next thing to check is that I haven't created another dry, dry joint. So all I have to do is stick that there. And as you can hear, that is a proper joint. So I've got power going through, which is good. And now I'm hoping that now this will actually go over. This one might not go over now. Oh, it does. So now over it goes my heat shrink, and then I get my soldering iron again and throw my heat shrinks on the floor, and just basically using my soldering iron shrink down the heat shrink so it covers it over nicely while plastering heat shrinks all over the floor. There we go. See, look, look at this. So that is a proper join. So now you've seen what a dry joint is. You've seen how you can use a multimeter to work out a texture dry, dry joint, dry joint, dry set look, and how to properly connect the wires. So now I've done that, now I know that's done. What I can do is split this wire the same. So I'm going to split that, that side, and this, this side. So that's going to take the plug completely out of play. So I have no plug on there whatsoever. And okay, got it in there. Strip the wire again. Strip this wire again. Choose a heat shrink. But this time, I'm going to put the heat shrink over this side. And run it all the way down. And this time, I'm going to get wire run through there like so and pull that back cool that's done join me two wires together hopefully this time I won't pull them apart like I did the last time and I won't knock my um, heat shrinks all over the place so again apply some heat Wait until the solder starts to take. There we go. Solder's taken. Let it dry for a bit. That is an absolutely gorgeously perfectly soldered joint. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. And again, we will take our two wires. And of course, I'm going to go here and there. And we have, if I can do this properly, a perfectly good joint. So there we go. And then heat shrink, heat shrink back over, back over. Uh, heat shrink on this one. So we're gonna just, you just do it and it just shrinks down. You can use like one of the Black & Decker hair dryers, you know, the paint stripper hair dryers. And um, not that I'd like to dry my hair with it. And now, the reason why I put this over here is so I can then bring these two up, like so. And shrink this over the top. How about that for a nice, neat repair? And hopefully, we will have power going to my oiler and my oiler should start working.
Yeah. Now that deserves a thumbs up at least. I'll put all these tools I'm using in the descriptions down below. But what do you think? Let me know what you think to that. Do you think that was an absolutely amazingly neat job? And look how much neater it is compared to the other one. So now all I've got to do is find the smallest fuse in the world. No, it's in the world. Like Jeremy Clarkson impersonation. Connect. And then hopefully, if I turn my ignition on, I should now get a light in this box. One hopes. Okay, turn the ignition on. Right. My light bulb's working and I still have no light on my box. Right, I know there's power going to it. So I'll get my multimeter. Oh, I love my multimeter. Get my lovely multimeter like so. I know it pulsates this does, so this should pulsate every so often, every so many seconds. Got a feeling of this. Oh we've got something going through. Whether that's enough. There we are. Oh yes, look at that. So it's supposed to do that, it's supposed to pulsate every so often, which actually gets the oil. Pumps the oil around, see if it'll do it again. Right, I definitely just think that that deserves a good thumbs up. I will let you know if it's working, because it'll start oiling the chain. It should be good. When it needs. If not, I'm going to have to go back to the old fashioned way of doing it and put a new oiler on. So I'll let you know how that one goes. Cheerio and uh, have a good day. Well, I like saying that.